Okay. So we thank God for allowing us to gather here on this Sunday morning. And we're thankful for all of you that are present. Truly, the Lord is good. And His mercy and endure forever. Amen. We're grateful for our deacons being present, for our mothers being present, for our issues on the doors, and all that need to be assembled. We are grateful. As our musician plays our opening selection, we ask that you join in with us, Emmanuel. His name is called.
let us stand for the call to worship. Shout to God with songs of great joy. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. God has made us whole. God has called us to the ministry of hope and love. Come, let us celebrate the love of God. Let us praise God's name and serve God joyfully. Let the words of my mouth.
mercy and joy throughout all generations. So we're grateful to see so many faces that we have saw this year. Amen. We're grateful that the Lord has blessed you, kept you, and allowed you to come and join in with the worship. Amen. We're grateful. We realize that uh, worship is a little different from what we are normally used to doing. But in keeping in uh, compliance with uh, the uh, CDC and our state and county government, there are some things that we must uh, do. Uh, not that we necessarily like it, but uh, we must do it to be in compliance. And as you look down in the housekeeping, the social distance, mm -hmm. uh, those are family members in the same house so that they can sit together, mm -hmm. but others have to be uh, six foot apart, and so the pews are roped off so we can uh, comply with that uh, room. Again, the offerings uh, taken up as you enter or as you uh, leave, you can get to the earthship. Uh, there is no counting of money in church uh, because you see the size of the room and uh, stay in compliance with the rules. Amen. There's no uh, money handled at the church. Uh, and so we ask that you make sure you have your offering out of those filled out right because there won't be no change given out. Amen. 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 And so. Uh, and then we've been doing these things, dismissing my pews. After benediction, there's no congregating in the church talking. Amen. We, and we've been doing a great job on that Amen. these last few Sundays. We've been going out. Amen. Amen. Because this virus is still with us. Yes, it is. And most of us have had uh, two shots. Amen. But that don't exempt us from catching the virus. Amen. All the shots really do the same as that it won't be as bad if you didn't have the shots. And so we want to continue to follow uh, the guidelines. Amen. There is no water fountains open, but we do have bottled water. If you want uh, water, there is uh, bottled water. Amen. And many of the things that the service has been eliminated in order that we could uh, get out in a good time. They really don't want us uh, gathering no more than an hour and a half. And so far, we've been doing pretty good on that. Even on communion Sunday, I think we got out uh, in a good time. And so, it might be some things you might not see done. Uh, it's because uh, we are following you know, guidelines. And uh, I guess you might as well say this too is not uh, my guidelines. Yeah, it's the leadership. Deacons, trustees come together and uh, put these things in place. Say, this is what we want to do to open. To those that might not be comfortable in here, uh, you can uh, go to the fellowship hall where the uh, service is being streamed over there on television if you don't feel comfortable in uh, the group. Amen. And so we are grateful. We thank the, the membership of New Salem for uh, doing a great job in complying. Amen. To the uh, things that have been set for us. Again, we're grateful and thankful to God. The Lord has been good to all of us. All week long. You know, we celebrated the resurrection. Amen. And, uh, amen. Uh, certainly we have so much to praise God for. The Lord has been good to us. In our order of service, that's a congregational song. And certainly uh, congregational, amen. Uh, certainly we like congregational singing. Amen. Amen. It gives everybody a chance to stretch their vocal cords. <laughs> Amen. 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 Choir singing is, is good. 
But sometimes it's good to do congregational right. uh, singing. Amen. And so we have a congregational song, Praise Him. Yeah. And how many of y'all know he's worthy? Yeah. Yeah. Every time we turn around, and the Lord is doing great things. Certainly, we're great to see uh, Deacon Ricky Williams in the back. He wants to come up. But, all right, certainly, we're happy to have him with us.
Amen. Well, the psalmist said that everything can have breath. Praise for his word. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy. To be praised. And everybody ought to be praised. Because he's been good to all of us. Yes, he has. Amen. I think he's been good to all of us. Amen. Have mercy, Lord. Yes, sir. Well, since the last time we met like this, there are so many. Yeah. Right. Well, there is many. Amen. Amen. Lord have called on. But he allowed us to get me here. Some of us have friends. Number of pastors that I know that died with COVID. And God had blessed us that we never contracted. Yes, Lord. Then those that did, God bless them. Oh, man. Yes, oh, man. Oh, man. Amen. Amen. And so we have a reason to praise Him. Amen. 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 We have a reason to praise Him. We've been around the folks <coughs> that were infected and, and we didn't even know. But God protected us. And not because of any goodness on our part, but simply because of His grace and His mercy. How y'all glad to be in the church of the Lord? Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. And we're grateful. Prayer is always in order and never can get enough prayer. For the Bible said men are always to pray. Always. And not to fail. And in these troubling times that we are living in, Amen. We need prayer. We need prayer. Amen. For well, as the Bible says, and it's coming to pass, evildoers will wax worse and worse. And seem like every day. Amen. We're seeing that worse and worse. When you think you've seen it all. Yes, sir. You mentioned yesterday that every day there's a hundred people that die. Through gun violence in these United States. And at least 300 people are wounded or injured every day. And so we need to uh, pray. Amen. And look, I'm all for and I agree that we do need some good gun safety laws. But at the same time, Amen. I realize that uh, laws will fix this problem. Amen. This, uh, amen. This killing is going to happen. Won't them all fix this? Amen. We need prayer. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, my people, they're all like my name. He's talking about the church. Yes, sir. Will humble themselves, pray, turn from their wicked and seek my face. Then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sins, and I will heal the way. Bloodshed. 
As we lift up our brothers and sisters in prayer, we ask that you would pray with us right where you are seated. Yes. Amen. We are remembering and praying for Sister Letty Nalpa. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That God will move in her behalf. Amen. 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 We are praying for Sister Bobby McCoy. Yes. Yes. We are praying for Sister Deborah Corbin Johnson. Amen. And their entire family. Amen. 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 We are praying for Brother J.B. George. Brother E.Y. Holloway, which we had a chance to visit with this week. And uh, certainly we ask that you continue to pray for him. Amen. God is good. Amen. We pray that God continue to touch all of those that are sick. All the great families, we pray for the Taylor family and Pastor and Reverend Myron Taylor. We pray for the Crockett family and Pastor and Reverend David Crockett. And for all the bereaved families throughout our region. There might be somebody that worked with you. Maybe your neighbor. Or maybe somebody in your own house didn't ask you to pray for them. But you know they need prayer. Right? Right. Right. And you know that's something uh, can't nobody stop me from praying for. They can stop me from laying hands on them. But they can stop me from praying for them. Co-workers, neighbors, and family members. Let us remember them as we God our Father, here we are again, gathered yes, sir. Yes, sir. as one people in your presence. We come to magnify and to exalt your name. We come to lift you up and give you all the praise and the honor that's due to your name. For you are worthy of all of our Worthy of all of our thanksgiving. For God, there is none like you. None like you in mercy. None like you in grace and compassion. There's none like you in goodness. For every time you turn around, you're blessing us. And God, we say thank you. We lift up all of our brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. Lenny, Nalpa, Sister Bonnie McCoy, Brother J.B. George, and E.Y. Holland, and other names that are on our prayer list. We lift them up to you. Asking you to look in on them. Those that are sick, touch their bodies. Those that are weak, strengthen their bodies. Oh God, we say thank you. We thank you for bringing us together one more time. We thank you for the spirit of praise and the spirit of worship that abides among your people. God, we pray for men, women, boys, and girls everywhere. They know you're not in the part of their sin. We pray that the gospel will come across their path so convicted that they cry out, what must I do to be saved? And God, we pray that there be some believers that will be capable and able to be faithful to the Christ. God, we say thank you. Look in every hospital, every nursing home, Every mental institution, behind every prison wall, your God everywhere. And there's nowhere that you cannot 
rich. Oh God, we pray for those who are bound by drugs and alcohol. Those that want to be delivered. Those that are crying out for deliverance. We pray that you would hear their prayers and deliver them. For it's not your will that men be bound by alcohol or drugs or any other thing. For you say, I come to set the captive free. Set us free today. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. I pray for this congregation for each member. I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you bless their homes. Bless their children. Bless their grandchildren. Bless their finances. Bless their physical bodies with your healing touch. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, keep them. Watch over them. And let no evil befall them. As they drive up and down the highway, God, we don't ask you to be their co-pilot. But you ask, we ask that you would pilot them to their destination. Bless us as we worship. The songs of Zion, prayers of faith, and the preaching of the gospel. God, we say thank you. We thank you right now. Dry every weeping eye. Lift up every bow down. Heal every person and yes, Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, Come to breathe. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Certainly we ask that you continue to pray for the sick and shut in your bed. We thank God that uh, Amen. On Tuesday was election day. Amen. Thank God that the election is over. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. And certainly we thank God for uh, the victors. We yes. thank God for those that were not victorious. Amen. Right. Amen. Thank God for our own sister Marie Nelson. Amen. And certainly we congratulate our own Pastor Cortez uh, Williams. Amen. 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 Certainly in there others. Amen. And we're grateful. Amen. I always say after elections, amen. Of course, sometimes people uh, claim, like our president, that there was some wrong doing. <laughs> amen. But I look at it as uh, sometimes there could be some things. Amen. But I always like to look at it as the people have spoken. Yes. And amen. We have to. Uh, Recognize the voice of the people. If they wanted you in the office, they would have voted you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And since they didn't, they would have not harbor any ill feelings You're right. You're right. for those who were elected. Right. Amen. 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 Well, you know, it would make sense to be angry with the person that won. <laughs> because the person that won up ahead won the vote. His own vote. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They were elected by the people. Yes. Amen. So we thank God for the opportunity to vote. Mm -hmm. We want to ask, uh, Amen, our own sister Joyce, if she would, uh, and our musicians, I don't know how they want to come, but we have a, a letter that we want uh, our clerk to read to the church on uh, this morning. Amen. And from there, they can move on with selections. All right.
Mrs. Tim. Congratulations. You have been selected to receive a personal choice award. Each faculty member, administrator, and guidance counselor was given the opportunity to select one student to be recognized. Amen. Criteria for this award may include achievement, citizenship, attitude, school spirit, or other positive attributes. Amen. You and your family are invited to attend the annual Personal Choice Award Ceremony sponsored by the Renaissance Committee on Monday, April 26, in the Granite City High School Performing Arts Center. The nominated staff member will present you with a certificate outlining why they chose you. You will also be presented with a medallion which you may wear upon graduation. This is a formal ceremony in which students should dress appropriately. Amen. Due to the current capacity and social distancing guidelines, this event will take place in groups. And goes on to explain how we want you to uh, Together. Mm -hmm. And as a contact person, but congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank Amen. So we always want to encourage our young people. Right. Amen. To, uh, and want to uh, celebrate when yes, they right. uh, well. Amen. 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 So you do a great friend. Right. Uh, before our singers come, I want to uh, recognize uh, Brother Aaron and Trace is with us. I found out this morning that she sure can't sing. Oh. <laughs> so we're grateful for her. God bless you. Oh. Uh -huh. 
power. Love, joy, in the name. James said, "We have not because we ask not." white 
Jacobi suddenly stood beside him, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The sky. This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. We have, amen, celebrated the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. We have celebrated, amen, his burial. Last Sunday, we celebrated. His resurrection. Mm -hmm. So what's next? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We celebrate mm -hmm. His ascension. Come on, come on, come on. And I want to talk from this passage. The ascended Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a Amen. In the Christian calendar, there's a amen. Uh, as we have, uh, as we call it, say Easter or Resurrection, and but there is a celebration called the Ascension. Mm -hmm. Many churches celebrate the Ascension of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. And uh, just looking at the text, the two men were angels. They just suddenly appeared. I know that's just fitting. For there were angels celebrated his birth. Amen. Angelic hopes. There were angels that watched at the tomb. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And it's just fitting for angels to be there on the day of ascension. Yes, sir. Amen. With a purpose. Amen. This same Jesus. Amen. That you see go, he's coming back. Amen. 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 And that's where we are now. Amen. We are waiting the coming of Christ, our Lord. Amen. Have mercy. After his resurrection, he revealed himself to many yes, yes. believers, mm -hmm. not to unbelievers, mm -hmm. but believers. Mm -hmm. And Jesus spends 40 days mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. his disciples all right, all right. after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. yes, sir. Speaking. Mm -hmm. Of the things mm -hmm. pertaining or concerning yes. the kingdom of God, right, right. which is the church. Mm -hmm. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Yeah. He actually sat mm -hmm. ate with them. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. And spoke to them. Wow. Yes, yes. Concerning right. the kingdom of God, right. 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 the church, mm -hmm. 
Jesus. Now note now, 40 days. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you see in the discussion about how should we baptize, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes folks say you should baptize in Jesus' name, you should right. baptize mm -hmm. Well, I would think that since Jesus spent 40 days mm -hmm. teaching his disciples mm -hmm. things pertaining to the kingdom, mm -hmm. I don't see how they can get the method of baptism messed up. <laughs> After Jesus had been with them 40 days. Have I got a witness? Jesus is preparing his disciples for their future work. Training. Have I got a witness? Things pertaining or having to do with the kingdom. He gave them instruction about the organization, mm -hmm. the spread, mm -hmm. and the edification mm -hmm. of his church. Mm -hmm. For they soon would be his earthly agents mm -hmm. in the promotion mm -hmm. of the church. Mm -hmm. It would be upon them mm -hmm. to spread mm -hmm. the gospel, mm -hmm. calling men into the kingdom of God. Well, listen. He instructed them in what they were not to do. <laughs> All right. All right. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And what they should do in his absence. Now Jesus knew that they were eager to return to their homes in Galilee. Mm -hmm. Now we remember that these uh, people are from Galilee. Mm -hmm. And they still had some fear in them. Mm -hmm. Let me say it like this. Go back. That <laughs> the same folk, uh -huh. what they did to Jesus, yeah. right. they might just do to <laughs> us. Right. Right. Uh -huh. They were eager to get out of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. yeah. And go back to Galilee, uh -huh. where they no doubt would feel safer yeah, yeah. at home. Yeah. Going back now, yeah. in verse 4, while being together and eating with me, mm -hmm. Acts 1 and 4. Amen. He commanded them not to leave Jerusalem. But to wait for the promise yes. of the Father. Yes. Amen. 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 Which he said, yes. You have heard of me. I already talked about this. Yes. The promise of the Father. Yes. And so, wait here in Jerusalem. Yes. Amen. Don't leave. But wait for the promise of the Father. Yes. Come on, come on. And like I got Jesus spoke uh -huh. of his ascension. Uh -huh. Just like he spoke of his death, yeah. burial, and resurrection, yeah. he spoke of his ascension. Uh -huh. In John 14, All right. in verse number 1. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Listen. If it were not so, I would have told you. Amen. I go. I go. I go. I go. Yes, sir. To prepare a place for you. Amen. He's speaking of his ascension. Yeah, yeah. And if I go uh -huh. and prepare a place for you, uh -huh. I will come in Amen. and receive you unto myself. Amen. That where I am, that you may be also. 
Amen. Amen. Uh, I was thinking this morning about uh, my former pastor and his son. And my uh, pastor was uh, dying. Mm -hmm. And his son was having a hard time dealing with his uh, you know, soon departure. Mm -hmm. And I never will forget these words. He told him, he said, call him Sonny Boy. Mm -hmm. Sonny Boy. I've got to go home <laughs> to get my reward. Amen. 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 Told him, I can't stay here. Yeah. I've got to go home yeah. to get my reward. Yeah. Jesus says, mm -hmm. in that same chapter 14, he speaks of his ascension. Mm -hmm. He says, I will pray the Father, yeah. and he shall give you another. Comfort. Yeah. Now we dealt with this in Bible study this week. Another comfort, another help, another counselor, another advocate. Another meaning one like unto me. That you may abide with you forever. Tell me about it. That's John 14 and 16. And then in John 14 and 18, Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. And that word comfortless, some of you might have it, I will not leave you as orphans. As a father who dies and leaves his children. Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yeah. Have mercy on yeah. And then in John 16 and 7, mm -hmm. nevertheless, I, I tell you the truth. Come on, it is expedient for you that I go away. Yeah. That word expedient is necessary. Yeah. It's to your advantage yeah. <laughs> yes, that I go away. Listen, for if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. Jesus said, I've got to go. Yeah. I don't leave this office. Yeah. Amen. I've got to go. If I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, this is what he says. I will send him unto you. Well, we can't explain it, but it seems like Jesus makes it clear that he and the Holy Spirit could not be here at the same time. Jesus has to finish his work in the earth and depart and at his departure, uh -huh. he prayed the Father yeah. that he would send us uh -huh. another comfort. Yeah. 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 That's another word for that comfort. Uh, we call it paraclete. Uh -huh. Paraclete. Uh -huh. yes, Amen. Which simply means one. Para means one who goes alongside. Uh -huh. I was telling you. Church, so the Bible said on Wednesday night. I remember years ago, amen, when uh, Officer Fremont Home, right, Green Fremont Home, Nash, yeah. amen. When you got sick, you called the Fremont Home. <laughs> you called the, when you got sick, you called the, and they had an ambulance service yeah. that would come to your house, pick you up, yeah. take you to the hospital. Yes. Hold up, folks, they made it. Because all these folks was dry. Uh -huh. They know nothing about the ministry, nothing to stabilize you till they got you to the gospel. They were just like cab drivers. <laughs> How they got with you. But now we have a paramedic. Come on now. And the paramedic goes alongside us. And he has a connection to the hospital. Come on, man. Come on. And he can share the side. Your vital sign. Yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. And the doctor can tell him yeah. what to do. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. 
He's our parent. Have mercy, Lord. Amen. He's going to keep us. Gentlemen, get home. Yes, sir. How are we out here? Amen. I think I might have time to say this. Amen. The story about the man who takes his son to the shopping mall. Tell us story, Amen. And, uh, you know, excitement. Sometimes with children, you have to, you know, you have to keep your hands on the dead lady. Amen. Uh, it's a sad thing. I've seen some folk in church have a, a doggone harness on their kids. <laughs> and y'all seen that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But this little boy wandered away from his father. His father realized he was missing. And he got excited. Looked around and couldn't find his son. You can imagine how he fell in a ball and your young child is missing. He goes to security. He says to security, I lost my son. Oh, man. Amen. Security says to him, don't wear him. No. If he's anywhere in this store, we can find him. Yes, sir. If he's in the store, where was the last place you saw him? Hello, God. Saw him there. Let me just throw a name. Toys and us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Security goes to the, uh, the board there. He keys in the Toys of us. <laughs> And they look all over the store. <laughs> and they don't see the child. Well, Amen. Amen. Keys in several stores. Uh -huh. Finally, keys in the store. Yes. And there was the little boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Playing with toys. Yeah, yeah. He said, That's my son. Yeah. Help us the boy. Mm. Yes. Amen. The man took the mic. He said, What's his name? He said his name is Eric. Uh -huh. Security guy took the mic and he said, Eric. And the boy just kept on playing. Just kept on playing. Was there, man. And he said again, Eric. Yes. Kept on playing. Then the father said, Give me the mic. The mic. Yes, sir. The father said, Eric and the boy. Yeah. Turn around. He said, Eric, this is your father. Yes, sir. No wonder Jesus said, My sheep recognize my voice. Yes, sir. The voice of the strange. They will not. Yes, sir. Eric. Father said, Eric, you see that? Cook at the time. <laughs> Go over there to him. Yes. Amen. And he's going to hold your hand mm -hmm. yeah. until I get there. Yeah. Well, have mercy, Lord. That's the work yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He's going to hold our hand yeah. until I cross. Return. Yes. That's his work. Yes. To lead and guide us yes. into all truth. Yes. That's his work. Yes. Yes, sir. To see us safe. Yes. Yes. Safe at home. Yes. Have I got it? Yes. I am thankful for the yes. power of you. Yes. 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 Again, Jesus spoke of his ascension. Amen. Jesus said unto Mary, John 20 and 17. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. This is after the resurrection. Uh -huh. Mary, in her excitement, mm -hmm. amen, went to touch Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, Touch me not. Me uh -huh. not. For I am not yet ascended uh -huh. to my Father. Uh -huh. But go to my brother and say 
unto thee. I will send to my father and your father and to my God and your God. I will send. Help me out here. Then going back to John 6 and 32, Jesus says this, What if he shall see the Son of Man a sin mm. uh, of where he was before. Mm. Hell got a witness. Amen. Then Paul gets in on it. Paul said, He that descended, uh -huh. he who came down. Yeah. Amen. We do know he came down. Oh, yeah. He who descended is the same also that ascended. Yeah. Far above all heavens, that he might feel or fulfill all things. Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 10. Tell God with this. Listen. Yeah. Ascension marked the end of the period of Christ's humiliation. Mm -hmm. It was over. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It was over. Amen. It marked the end. His going up marks the end of his humiliation and his entrance into the state of exaltation. Tell God, men couldn't spit on him no more. Couldn't crucify him no more. Tell God, couldn't rip him no more. The ascension marked the end of it. His humiliation and the beginning of the entrance of his exaltation. Yeah. Have mercy, Lord. Yeah. Help us here, Paul, for living to it, man. Say, Wherefore, yeah. God also yes, had highly yeah. exalted him. Yeah. Have mercy, Lord. Yeah. And given him a name yeah. which is above yeah. every name. Yeah. Oh. That at the name of Jesus, you know about the exaltation. At the name of Jesus, every name should bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. How many of y'all can be a witness that He is Lord? Not only raised Jesus from the dead, oh, yeah. but he set him at his own right hand oh, yeah. in the heavenly place. Uh -huh. Hello, God. Yeah. Not only did he raise him from the dead, but amen. He set him yeah. on his own right hand. Oh, yeah. Hello, God. Yeah. Amen. And look, he shared. You know, who's ever on your right hand mm -hmm. shares part of your thought. Mm Hell, -hmm. I got a witness. Mm -hmm. uh, president Joseph Biden, Joseph Biden is the president. Mm -hmm. right. Kamala Harris is his right hand person. Mm -hmm. She's the vice. Yes. Amen. And she shared in his power. Yes. Hell, I got a witness. Yeah. He shares, Christ shares God's strength, authority, and blessing. Listen, it is the highest place. Amen. And highest honor. Possible. Jesus seated at the right hand of God. Means all other things are under him. Hell, I got it. Well done. <laughs> Amen. The ascended Christ yes, sir. is as busy mm -hmm. in heaven yeah. as he was on earth. Yeah. Hell, I got yeah. He's not just sitting at the right hand of God, yeah. relaxing, yeah. got his feet propped up. Yeah. He's not sitting there. Rest. 
from his earthly rest. What is he doing, preacher? He's there interceding to God on our behalf. I'm not going to talk about you, but I'm going to talk about the sin. Yes, I imagine, Lord have mercy, I keep him plenty of this.
said, keep on watching. Oh, yeah. And after a while, yeah. nobody is watching something. Oh, yeah. After a while, he's out of sight. Yeah.
Christians to have some uh, mass that was uh, and even an art and mass have on the New Salem Mission Baptist Church. And the rule of the dove, the Bible branch on it, they have one for each person because they were ordered enough for each member. And so please don't ask for Amen. Two, because they only have just one. Oh, yeah. Now, the God of peace that brought him in from the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, made it perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.